What's up guys, it's AlexMag111 and today, I'm not gonna lie, this may be the craziest unboxing that I've ever done as far as story-wise. Um, but before we get into that, um, I got t-shirts available, I actually just got this super comfy one, so they're in the merch shop below if you wanna hit it up. And uh, progress on the high cap build, I got an Airsoft Masterpiece lower, and so I put it on, and if I say so myself, boy this looks absolutely gorgeous. Hopefully it's not gonna rain on me, I have no promises. Um, but before I open this, I gotta tell you guys a story. So I traded a guy on Hop Up. His name's Anthony Mata. Um, I ended up getting this package. But before I got this package, I was on my way to visit. I'll kind of tell that why I unbox it. I'm gonna I'm gonna visit my friend Sarah in Columbus. So I'm going to visit my friend Sarah in Columbus. She's super cool, super cute. Um, she's like incredible, and she's been one of my closest friends since high school. And there was a time where I was like, going and, and visiting her and all of a sudden like I, I turned my GPS on and I was like trying to figure out where to go. It was like at Easton for those of you who are from Columbus. And I get this call that says unknown and I was like, oh, it's like middle school, high school all over again that there's somebody that's trying to call me uh, from like one of those star six, seven or whatever that. And so I get an uh, unknown call, no idea who the number is. And I pick it up and I said, yeah, hello, this is Alec. And they, this says, hi, my name is Nancy with the United States Postal Service and I'm a federal agent with them. And I was like, uh, I said, um, I said, yo, there's no way. She said, we had a gun that you had that a package was supposed to be delivered to you. I tried to contact Anthony first, but then you, there's a package that is supposed to be delivered to you and it has an AK-47 in it. And so somehow because of this dudes, this is how I received the package. All right, so you guys are going to see pretty quickly in this video, I'm just going to pause it real quick, that I did get screwed in this trade. Um, basically, the dude that sent me this, it's a funny story and it's a cool story, but the dude that sent me this did not care at all about his gun. So you should be able to tell, I should have been able to tell by the packaging pretty quickly. If people package their guns poorly, as soon as you kind of get it, you should kind of have an idea, hey man, like, it wasn't that UPS or USPS, it was USPS that shipped it. It wasn't that they did anything wrong. It's that the guy shipped a horribly packaged gun. If you have a metal piece that's jumping around in there in the middle of a box, regardless of how nice they treat it, that box and that gun is going to break. And so clearly we have seen that with this. Um, the motor plate here is completely broken. You can kind of see in the video, I was a little bit disappointed. Um, and you could definitely see afterwards. However, like... I just want you guys to be careful. I think this is a really good learning experience. If you are dealing with trades, it is really awesome if you can get someone else to ship first because there are always people that are looking to scam you. There are always crappy people out there that are just gonna treat you badly. Um, I have that all the time and I have 200 vouchers. Thankfully for me, because I've done so many transactions and trades, I make almost everyone ship first, which is what I did with this guy. And I, like I said, I made him pay me a little bit more money-wise. Um, but it is a little bit frustrating and it is a little bit hard to kind of deal with that when I'm just trying to trade I sent him a gun. I, it's been a little bit so I sent him a good gun that worked I'm when I get guns I'll often take them fix them up makes them the best of their abilities before I ship them off But we can look a little bit on the bright side. I did get uh, Six mags that are metal and hopefully they feed but they are pretty decent quality wise at least So maybe I can do something with them to kind of recoup my losses on the gun and hopefully the internals are good. I'm probably just gonna sell this as a parts gun. Hopefully I can kind of find that parts list back um, and we'll kind of go from there as literally pieces are flying off everywhere. This gun basically broke out of this box because it wasn't taped very well and it fell on the floor in a USPS postal service sorting facility. And she said, she said, yes, she said, there was a bunch of people that freaked out. We checked it. We made sure that it was an airsoft gun, not a real AK-47, but some of the USPS workers are pretty um, startled and pretty worried because of what happened from it and so this has been a little while ago that I've received it. I thought that was hilarious See, when I heard that for the first time I was like there's literally no way I thought it was kind of a joke at first but the way like her demeanor and her tone she was super serious and I literally I ended up actually getting lost in Easton because I was supposed to go somewhere else I was on the phone with her for like 20 minutes and she's like yeah I called your mother and she answered but she said this was your cell phone number so they called my mom and my mom was like, probably freaking out like what in the world did Alec or Jared get into? What are these boys getting into? So, without further ado, that's kind of the backstory. And here is the AK. Bro, I saw so it must have fallen out. It's a Javelin AK. So this is actually like real wood, um, kind of nice barrel length. But I did not expect this to be in such horrible condition. That's actually a really nice stock though. So it's kind of like a cool cherry wood color. I think I'm gonna move this box so I can show you guys better. So basically this is how I went. I'm guessing somebody was like, oh no! 
AK-47, it's everywhere. And so here's the gun, dude. This has actually been like a, a month ago or so that I traded it. I just haven't had time to unbox and I figured I'd tell you guys kind of when we had a lull time. I'm doing the uh, Corona loadout yes or next week. I, yesterday I purchased, I'll throw it right here. Bam, I purchased, a, actually no, I'm not gonna show you. I'm not gonna show you, you guys are gonna have to wait to see it. But I purchased a chemical suit basically that's gonna go along with the loadout. Um, however, this is, dude, this thing is, literally a parts gun it looks like it's in decent shape there are some upgrades in it from what he said i'll kind of read through the parts list a little bit later on but we can at least go externally so that it looks like that goes there i'm decent at putting externals together sure shot midget's the one that does internals for guns but externally i should be able to figure this out and i i can't even exactly remember what i traded for to be honest i don't think there i think he said that there wasn't a motor so i had to put a motor in it but that kind of looks like it's snapped Sheesh, yo, this must have, uh, yeah, dude, the motor, the bottom motor plate snapped during shipping or whatever he did. There's the, that's the grip right there. So, the, like, you guys have to be able to package stuff. Just throwing a gun in there and throwing stuff in here, like, this should be wrapped. One of the ways that I, like, I spend a lot of time shipping, and so this is kind of like a tip. If you're going to, if you're going to ship something, you need to wrap it in bubble wrap. So, if you wrap this, wrap the outside of it, if that makes sense, so wrap it and then wrap it a bunch of times. And then if you tape it, if you kind of like fold the sides in and then tape it tight, it's not gonna have stuff like this. And even if USPS is really rough with your packages, stuff is not going to break. But this is, bro, this is wild. I really like the external of the body. It's honestly awesome. He gave me, um, I think it was like five, yeah, so six mags are here. I think these are all mids. I'm not super familiar with AK, so I'm not 100% sure what brand they are. It might be GMP mags. I can't, to be honest, I can't even remember. They're nice, high quality metal mags. So they're probably not like that cheap and i think this one is the high cap yeah so this is the stock high cap he did kind of a cool little weathering job on that the body actually was weathered kind of in general and so it looks i'll show that in some of the close-ups it's got an aps mosfet um and i'll go over the parts list real quick dang i think the dude yo, no joke i think the dude actually deleted his his hop-up so i can't even find the messages from the past so i'm not exactly sure what parts list in this but i know this has a mosfet this looks like it's kind of the APS MOSFET, which is meh, but he said that some of the internals in here were actually pretty good. I believe this is a PDI barrel as well. So I'm gonna try and get it all fixed up and figured out um, and kind of all put together and, and maybe I'll give you guys an update on that, at least to show you what it looks like after I get it all figured out. But I don't know, honestly, with the motor, with that motor tap broken like it is, um, so in situations like this, this is actually kind of good for you guys. If you were trading, one of the best things to do, so I traded, I made him ship his gun first and then I shipped my gun, but because I knew it was kind of in not great condition, I made him add cash on top as well. Because if somebody's shipping you something and it's not in good shape, man, you you need to, like if, if you're selling something and it is messed up or broken or parts are not working, you can tell the frame's pretty good. Like the frame of this is pretty solid. The stock is awesome. The wood, these grips and stuff are great. However, the fact that he's got broken parts in here as well, and even with this, if this is broken off, I don't know if this broke off when I got it, but it, I mean, I, I think I can repair that to be honest. However, the part of the side that is metal is broken on that. So I've actually thought, I don't know if you guys, comment this below, if you guys would like to know some videos on how to buy, sell, and trade within Airsoft, I've thought about doing like a series of like seven videos long or something on like how to find good deals or where I buy my stuff from or where I trade or like what's a good trade or what's a good starter gun to get into trading wise. I do a lot of my deals now in Polar Stars and high end AEGs because I don't spend a ton of time on lower end stuff because I, I really am like, I'm good with higher end stuff and the people that have serious money are the ones that actually want to buy a higher end nicer gun and not more of these cheaper middle tier or lower tier guns. I do a little bit of that when I get e-bike mystery boxes. But if you guys think that'd be a cool idea, I've really been interested in doing that. So let me know what you guys kind of think on that. This has been Alec Mac 101 and I'll see you guys later.